There's a flag on the plate. Wouldn't it be cool if this were you, a player in the NFL? Well, this is Brian Hennessy, number 39, kick returner for the Arizona Cardinals. This year he lived that dream. This is Brian in college. He was the best runner in the history of Bucknell University. But Bucknell is so small, the NFL ignored him, and he didn't get drafted. He tried to get a trial with an NFL team, but no one would give him a chance. After three years, I mean, it was pretty obvious that teams weren't going to come talk to me. And, you know, I had done everything I could. I sent the Eagles probably 30 letters. I had had my friend actually pretend he was a coach from Bucknell a few times. I just wanted an answer. I wasn't going to quit. I was going to make them tell me no. I wasn't going to say no myself. Then Brian heard on the radio that Buddy Ryan was the new coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Buddy used to coach in Philadelphia, where Brian is from. So he figured if anyone would give him a chance, that Buddy would. I decided my best bet was to fly out and sit in his office, and I flew out to Phoenix. Of course I was uninvited, but I was going to do whatever it took to make an NFL team. Good morning, Arizona Cardinals. Brian walked right into the Cardinals' office, determined that he wouldn't leave until Buddy had seen his college game tapes. He said that he was going to sit there and tell, uh, if we had to, call the cops. <laughs> This young guy was sitting in the lobby. I didn't know who he was, so I went on to my office, and then before long, the secretary came in and said, there's a young man out here who wanted to see, and we, he had some film with him. Brian waited five hours, and guess what? Buddy Ryan liked the tape. He signed Brian to an NFL contract, but Brian still had one more painful obstacle to overcome. Right before I was going to leave for Arizona to come to camp, uh, my oldest brother, Ricky, who, who was also a role model for me, he was in an accident and he passed away. Ryan carried his brother's memory with him to training camp and it helped him work extra hard to succeed. But it wasn't easy. I was a little intimidated at first, but I realized that this was my dream and it took me three years of heartaches and rejection to get here. I wasn't going to be intimidated. It was sort of like once I got my foot in the door, I was going to do everything to stay inside the door. He's a blue-collar type football player. He works hard every day. He does his job, and, uh, and the good Lord gave him a little ability to run the football. He's a legitimate pro. Ryan made the team. He wasn't a star or anything, but he was an Arizona Cardinal. I will never forget the first time I was activated here at Sun Devil Stadium. We were playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, the fans were excited, and to, to say I was excited would be the understatement of the century. Brian succeeded, and he still remembers his older brother. I wear my brother Ricky's dog tags before I return the ball. I'll, I'll touch him and just know he's there and, and that he's loving this moment with me wherever his spirit is. Before I ran out on the field, I just thought back about everything that happened over these three years, my whole struggle, and I realized that through hard work and a lot of effort, dreams can really come true. It's NFL Sty Witness News at the half with run and punt. Yes, he's going deep. Uh, better go to the videotape. Now it's time for Sty Witness matchups. The Dallas Cowboys and San Francisco 49ers. Let's see how these two rivals match up. Superstars! The Cowboys' Emmitt Smith. Three NFL rushing titles in a row. The 49ers have their own superstar. Wide receiver Jerry Rice. He scored more touchdowns than anyone else in NFL history. Super Bowls! The 49ers won three Super Bowls in the 1980s. However, the Cowboys have won the Super Bowl the last two seasons. Super Celebrations! When the Cowboys' Alvin Harper scores a touchdown, he goes for the 